Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 3. I'm still me. I'm Sundian. What's up? Hey. And I forgot that uh, Blunder actually says different things after every world to give you more hints on how to get oh. to that lost world. Which is something I didn't actually know. Every time he acts like it was a mistake. Yep. So this time we're going to Mechanos, which is a industrial style area. This is the one that everyone in the thread was uh, excited about, right? Yeah, this is a pretty good world. I don't actually remember a whole lot of levels here, so I'm looking forward to being surprised. Uh, well, the first one we got these uh, owls that shoot fireballs at you. <laughs> Why not? It's kind of weird, sure. but okay. Let's go for it. Are they wearing goggles? Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty cool. Also, I forgot these guys were here and I was about to jump on them. Oh, that um, guitar riff, I heard that. <laughs> yeah. I, I like the I like the music for the factory levels. It's pretty sweet uh rock riffs and everything. Oh, they're <laughs> gonna trip you up now. Yeah. I, lo I love like the fake three that they don't the SNES in general. Mm-hmm. Although it's very confusing because then you don't know where the uh, fireball yeah, actually is. Yeah, the big problem it... with this one is that the sprite doesn't really change shape until it's right about... I don't know, it's, it's pretty difficult to tell unless you know the timing at a time. Yeah. Well, that owl is persistent. It... Yeah. He really wants me dead. <laughs> I can't get away from him! Come on, just give him the kill. He's working pretty hard for it. Nah. I've come too far. Gotta get secret monies and everything. <laughs> this one, <laughs> they all want to kill me so bad. I'm wondering what you did. I don't know. I'm just, I guess there's a no trespassing sign somewhere. That little air jump there? Yeah. I thought you, you could do that, can, honestly. Yeah, you can do that with any of the characters in the first three of them, because you can just roll off the edge and then jump. And we have our good buddy Squitter, who is oh, the best. I'm so glad he came back in this game. Yes. I don't know anyone who doesn't like this character. I don't know anybody who doesn't, because he really is the best. But we'll be seeing more of him later. This is this is pretty much the only place you can use him right now. Oh man. Sort of lame. I know, I, <laughs> I wanted to have more fun with my buddy Squitter. When's Red but... release a game where you just play Squitter the entire time? <laughs> That would be pretty awesome. <laughs> why would you why would you not want to play as a spider that has eight tennis shoes? <laughs> oh, and they thought oh. they were sneaky, but... Oh, I totally didn't see that. I thought they were sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> Although you can see you can kinda see the banana out of the corner of the screen, so. Yeah, that's that's all more leaning than some oh. Yeah. This this looks more annoying than difficult, but Yeah. Pretty much. Then, once again, you kind of can't tell where the fireballs are, so... Unless you know how they work, then it's very tricky. You'll probably get hit. I like the owls and everything, but yeah. the problem is that it just ends up being waiting again. I can't remember, was it this game or another one where they have like an enemy in the background and it's just different stuff at you later on? Uh... Uh, I, I remember like a crosshair on the screen. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's that's a uh, that's later. Okay. In this game, I still I'm so weirded out that all the DK coins are like shields for that guy because you know Donkey Kong Country 2 did it like anywhere basically. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I remember the one in Donkey Kong Country 2 where uh, where uh, there was a DK coin hidden in one of the bonus levels, and it's like the only DK coin hidden that way. <laughs> but you would never think yeah. to find. It. It's, oh yeah, I was watching the LP for that one, and I was really yeah. surprised by that. <laughs> it was brilliant, but just annoying as hell, because there's no way you would know. See, like, that sprite that goes over your character, like, I can't tell it's in the foreground, I get confused. Yeah. It feels like you should be getting hit. Mm -hmm. That was a good first level. Yeah. Oh, Bazooka, I remember this guy. Yeah. Look at that mustache! Look at that mustache! <laughs> that is the best mustache! He's got war maps and medals, this guy's awesome. Yes. Crimean Big War. Pussy. <laughs> yep. I, I recall this ties into something much later in the game. Yeah. Okay. Because we're gonna have to find some ammo. That's all I'll say on that note then. Mm-hmm. 
Well, we started off with a good level, but this one is not very good at all. What's your dream pipe? Yep. For this one, you oh, have to take. Oh no! The... I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. Basically, the problem with any of the toboggan levels is that you have to. Oops, is that you have to basically know where everything is in advance, or you won't be able to react fast mm -hmm. enough unless you have like really good reactions. That's always been sort of like the weak point of the series. I feel like Donkey Kong Country Res Return addressed that a little bit, and this feels like since the screen's bigger, you can actually like react to things on these kind of levels. Yeah, they have a. They have, there's a lot of parts too where the like a camera will zoom out, so you can see the entire of, of what's coming up. I would have failed that bonus game right there. Yeah, That's... if you miss a single one of those bugs. Yeah, if you miss a, a single one of those uh, bugs, then you fail the bonus level and you have to start the level over again to get it. I really do like I do like the ceiling gimmick though. I I, wish, I shouldn't say gimmick because I think it's like a legitimate gameplay. Design. Yeah, it. I think it's kind of neat. It's a good spin on the minecart levels. I feel. Mhm. Mm it's too bad that I don't think any of the other. Uh, Toboggan minecart levels really use that at all. I think this is the only one with a ceiling railing. This part messed me up. I always fall in that pit or something. I can't remember yeah. what. Whoa! See, I would have. I would have jumped over that. Yeah, because because the only indicator you have is a single banana. So we're gonna react to that on the first time. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not being hard on the bonuses being difficult to find, but that adds to the game at the same time. Yeah. I mean it. it... It's kind of like neat things, like if you're, you just notice, hey, there's just a banana floating there, it probably means there's something secret. Kind of stuff. I don't know, I guess, I guess it kind of helps with that. Yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not like there's no indicator. Yeah. This looks like a really tight jump. Yeah. What sucks is that you move very slow when you're carrying the barrel, so you can kind of barely make it. Another level where those shield guys are just kind of shoehorn in there. Well, it's been a while since we visited our old friend Swanky, so let's see what he's up to. Play some more games. I think I'm gonna take that gamble, sir. So now we're gonna do Race to 25, which is a Race to 25. Obviously. Chimps and chumps. Also, you can see little plush dolls of uh, Squitter and Squawks. Oh. I like it. Really neat little things. I can't remember, did they ever throw, like, uh, targets you're not allowed to hit to mess you up in this? Uh, no, I think there's only just the regular targets. Oh man, I'm losing pretty bad. Yeah, right Cranky's now. actually, um... Uh, yeah, he's a belt. pretty good shot, actually. I don't know why he didn't take that one, but I'm sure. I do like that this kind of, like, this sort of trains you for a part of the game later on. Oh, yeah. I think that's kind of a neat touch. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I like that part. Of course, people, people who've never played this game will be confused, but you'll see what we mean. Oh no. This music's intense, man. Yeah, it's getting close. He's beating me. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Always complaining. So yeah, neither of us got to 25, so he's just, so I don't get as many rewards. I just get my uh, money back and a uh, couple of banana bunches. I haven't seen you spending those bear coins in a while. Yeah. There's actually something that you need, like, a whole bunch of them later that I forgot about. Oh, but... is this level I think it is? Yes. This is a really cool level. I really like this idea. Yeah. It's a, it's a shame it's only basically an auto-scroller, but I like the idea of mm -hmm. running world's biggest, uh, I don't know what kind of call, saw that they call it, but it's one of the ones where they have two people on each end. One thing that, um, I feel like was like a missed opportunity in this game is that you don't really see the Kremlins until you get to this world, like, it doesn't really feel like you're fighting against anyone in specific, but yeah. now, now, like, you know, they turn up a notch, it feels like. Yeah, the funny part is if you didn't, like, read the manual and stuff, you wouldn't know why you're here other than the fact that... It doesn't even tell you on, like, the demo that Donkey and Diddy got captured? Uh, no, there's nothing like that in the game itself, I don't think. That's I think maybe Wrinkly mentions it at the beginning, but... Man, you gotta outrun this saw, it's really tricky, actually. You gotta, you gotta move pretty fast, or else it, it, it catches up to you pretty well. Yeah. I'm, really, I'm, I'm pretty sure this level must have, like, scared me as a kid. I, I can't imagine not. <laughs> I know, seriously. 
Oh god, it's getting closer. Ah. Although <laughs> it is really a nice touch in a different way to do the uh, the whole tree levels. I think they got the the good sound effect and the sawdust flying off the tree. Mm -hmm. Always good attention to detail in these games. Yeah. And it, and it really does fit in with the whole uh, industrial theme that the rest mm -hmm. of the island has, so that is good too. But they were able to have. Oops. Oh no. That was. I, bad didn't, I didn't think they were gonna. Oh, oh, oh. I can't get oh back up. man, I thought you had that for a second. No, that was close, but not quite. I was gonna applaud if you pulled that one out. <laughs> Do another roll jump to get those coins. I'm looking oh no! Oh, come on, come on! Nice. Yeah, that time I was able to jump high enough, and actually it was helpful because because that made me switch to Kitty without actually uh, doing anything, so I could do this part easier. Because you need to move really fast in order oh, to get that yeah. barrel. I guess uh, Dixie wouldn't be able to carry that fast enough. I don't know if it's that, but uh, <laughs> this part is really cool. I like it. I I've never seen this bonus game. This is pretty cool. Yeah, you get to be invincible riding the uh, saw blade. The only problem is that since it moves back and forth, it's kind of tricky <laughs> to get to some of the bananas. This is, this is probably the, that, this is the first. That, it's oh man, really first. amazing. This is the first green banana one I've been really impressed with. Yeah. There needs to be more bonus games like that that are just really mm -hmm. fun. With enjoyable gimmicks like that. Yeah, I feel like this game doesn't play around with the uh, the stage gimmicks enough in the bonus stages. Yeah. Like, Donkey Kong Country 2 is really good about that. Mm -hmm. Like, you get a new gimmick, then you get, like, a bonus that just matches up perfectly. See, like, do you really understand how this level's work works? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I managed to catch the level as it comes back around, as it comes back around so... That's a solid way to you at the end. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, eh, we meet our quota, we're done. And yet the saw just kind of saws back and forth on nothing, so... And this is a pretty cool level, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these guys shoot barrels, and you can bounce on them. Of course, sometimes they shoot explosive barrels, and you have to dodge them, but... It works. I, I enjoy it a lot. And there, there's space just perfect, so you can just keep pulling right. It looks like you just keep going over the pit. Mm-hmm. For, for a lot, how a lot of the stages are where they have a lot of gimmicks to make you wait, this one actually does have that sense of speed that the other games have, too. <laughs> Did you uh, miss a squitter there? Oh, there no, it is. Like, okay. It's just so that you don't go backwards with him for some reason? I don't know. That's kind of... Oh, I've never seen anything like that. Maybe, or maybe it's supposed to be a hint for this. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, where to take him? Yeah. Give you an idea of where you would be looking for this bonus. I don't even have to deal with all these bees because the objective is only to find the coin, so... Oh. We could use our web platforms, which are pretty fun. I read an article uh, earlier today that... Honeybees are like in danger. And I like to think like a beekeeper comes home and sees his son playing this game. And he's just like gets really pissed off. <laughs> Billy, what are you doing? <laughs> this just breaks the cartridge in half. <laughs> oh man. Oh, what? Are you... Oh, I see. Is it possible? No, of course not possible. Is that Squitter? Only, what, yeah, you, could do, you could do it the other way without having Squitter, oh. though, by, uh, being on the other, because uh, over here on the right is where you could come up, come through normally with that barrel Okay, cannon. that was really cool. Yeah, I did the cool way, though, and I like the, um, I like how you have to use the switch to switch the barrels to steel so you can kill them. And that switch switches the next uh, barrels to regular, but we can't jump on barrels with Squitter, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, the web platforms are pretty cool. You can have two of them up at a time, and they're ba you basically control when they uh, deploy, so it's really good. And it's more of a reason why Squitter is the best uh, animal buddy. I really, I really do like the, uh, the Switch idea, that it's a lot of variety to this level. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like this game gets a lot, like a lot of flack for having gimmicky levels, but I mean, it was like the third in the series, and like they already did like a whole lot of everything, so coming up with new ideas. Like, every level is yeah. still a new idea, and I really respect them for being able to do that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, the real problem is that it does end up being uh, kind of hit and miss with a lot of the levels. Which is, which is just more of a... Uh, because of how there are so many gimmicks. I love how Kitty than... gets scared there. Yeah. <laughs> But it's more of how there's uh, how there's more gimmicks that don't work as much in comparison to the other games. I mean, even the other games had bad le levels with like bad gimmicks too. So you know, it's not it's not something that's exclusive to this game, really. And of course, Dixie could just fly across. We don't even need to. Uh oh. Oops. You got punished for your hubris there. Yes. Damn me, am I being clever? I'm... But it's okay, because we're at the end. <laughs> That's a pretty cool level. Yeah. I can see why people are excited for this video. Yeah. This world is really good, and this next level is also pretty good, too. So we got this weird green gas, which makes us jump really high and also move really slow. I really like the music for this level. <laughs> it only plays in like this stage and one other stage, I think, but it's a very chill, uh, very uh, strong bass line. I really like it. Me too. Not a whole lot to say about this level. I mean, it's a cool gimmick. Yeah. That was just me being dumb because I didn't jump in time. It's, oh yeah, I thought about the ponytail twirl. Looks like it's still pretty good here. Mhm. Mm yeah, even in, even in low gravity, you you fall much, still fall really slow with the uh, twirl. So. This kind of reminds me of uh, underwater levels in Mega Man, except the movement speed is still the same in those. Yeah. Yeah, the whole movement speed going slower thing is kind of weird here. And of course, like Mega Man, there are plenty more uh, obstacles on the ceiling that trip you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, usually they'd have, like, spikes or something that you would slam your head into. Anyway, now we got uh, Purple Squawks. He's pretty much the same as Squawks, only he can't shoot egg, nut, whatever things out of his mouth. Maybe it's a male Squawk, then. I guess so. <laughs> Which is weird because he's purple. Whatever. Yeah. This looks kind of trivial. <laughs> yeah. You can get up here as a. Uh... Oh, you can. Yeah, you could probably get up here if you uh, team throw at the very top of your jump. So that's why you wouldn't really need to uh, have squawks. But I usually use squawks anyway because it's easier. So anyway, the one thing that uh, Purple Squawks can do that regular Squawks can is he can pick up barrels. I completely forgot about that gameplay mechanic. Yeah. It usually means that there'll be like uh, like the um, coins that you have to use steel barrels on will be and you have to do it a different way with the uh, Purple Squawks and stuff like that. I think it's kind of neat. It works sometimes. Yeah. Right over there, you can see another pipe. And a really fast bee, so we need to get rid of him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Cool thing, too, is you don't even have to drop, you don't even have to let go of it. You can just put it in their way and they just run into it. Will you kill more bees in there? <laughs> no, Dad, I'm just playing Donkey Kong! So yeah, for this bonus stage, we get green squawks <laughs> back. So it's like, hey, let's just murder everything. I guess they feel so frustrated having to get a barrel that they're like, yeah, I'm just going to kill this spree. Yeah. <laughs> it's very cathartic, uh, ca cathartic that way. That word, yeah. I'm not, I'm not good with words. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, we're doing our best here. Try my hardest, man. You don't even know. So yeah, the cool thing about this bonus is it takes you into this uh, 
little extra side area that you can't go to normally. So, do we know what this character's name is? Is it just Squawks again, or what? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just Squawks again, but there might... <laughs> Get on that thread. There might be an actual name for it. Let me see. Uh. Oh, here's the coin guy. Yep. But we don't. You get the steel barrel for going past there, but you don't really need it because there's an infinite respawning steel barrel oh, right okay. there. Oh, I was like, "What are you doing?" When I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, it's just so you can get past the bees in the first place, because otherwise you have to take a hit. Because they kind of block the way. Like jerks. Also, I'm gonna take another barrel for no reason because I just why not use it there anyway. So whatever. Girl's gonna have her protection. Of course, we gotta go through this uh, zigzag area. Into some uh, V6 stuff right here. <laughs> and now we get, finally get to meet Chaos, who is the actually the bad guy of the entire game. That uh, you wouldn't know if you didn't read the manual. <laughs> well, he's got dialogue. That's cool. Or monologue, yeah. I should say. <laughs> Some dialogue. But yeah, he is supposed to be the leader of the of all the Kremlings. Well. So this is a pretty short game actually. I'm glad I got the start in the last video. Yep. Jumping on sword, that's a good idea. Yes. And of course if you let it if you let him go on long enough, then he uh, fires boxing gloves out of the side of his uh, body, I guess. And the other thing you gotta watch out for is when he ducks down, the uh, flame will shoot sideways and you have to jump over it. Because he's uh, burning the ground and stuff. Mm -hmm. this is but now after three hits, the helmet comes off and reveals that he's wearing... Wow. <laughs> I like that, he's wearing like Deal With It shades, it's amazing. Dude, he this so guy really... Look at him. I know, this guy really is the best. <laughs> After this time, he changes it up now, and now the helmet starts firing lasers at you. But I don't even have to run to dodge him, I can just do my normal walk. So that's nice mode 7 on those lasers. Yep. Whoops. Uh oh, we get punch on Yeah, you, yeah you, get, you, you get you get three uh, chances, and then he goes back up and it starts it again. I can't get over the sunglasses. Hit. Yeah, those, those sunglasses are just amazing. Ah, my hubris! <laughs> now, that, now that I got hit, I actually start running. Like, oh no. <laughs> it's not like this guy has a higher profile than the other bosses. It's just the amount of hits he's taken. Yeah. After he has words before his uh, fight. And then he has words after his fight. Oh no. Damn, he got away though. Oh, it's, a, it's that thing that's talking. I was like, why is he still talking though he's off screen? Oh, you got your second ski. Yeah, we got our other ski. Now we can actually go skiing. Nice. So, uh, get Kitty on the behind the hovercraft. Have a good time. Yep. First of all, we're going to go uh, up here to visit another bear that I hadn't visited yet, because there was no reason to. It's got a picture of his flower that it's missing. <laughs> it's got a picture of his vase on the wall. <laughs> uh, well, at least we did that for him. Once they uh, start growing, maybe he'll have some flowers or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to visit Blunder again because he has something else to say about the Lost World. Oh, the rocks. Hmm. I wonder if we'll be able to oh, figure man, out this. Oh, yeah, his bow tie is the best bow tie. So I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to figure out the secret of the Lost World. After we go skiing, of course. I believe in you. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Now let me see. Animal buddies. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do it during the video, but it couldn't really work. Uh... Is this it? 
Oh, <laughs> his name is Quox the Parrot as opposed to Quox without I, the S. I really wish you found that out during the video. That would have. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs>